In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of really nice little quick concepts out of U-Trips that can really counter the man meta and also really do a really good job against zone as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to do that is going to be in the description. For just $10, you can become a Patreon member, and Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks, all of the updates to those ebooks, as, any, as well as any new ebooks while your membership is active. So if you want to sign up for that today, you can head down to the description, and there's a link down below. So guys, what I wanted to do in this video is show you just kind of some quick hitters um, that I found out of U-Trips. This is specifically if you have a uh, set feet lead. You do need set feet lead or a passing velocity ability uh, to make this the best it can possibly be. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to basically take advantage of a quick game uh, to the left side of the screen at, well, at the same time being able to utilize um, are tied in as we want to okay so you can do this out of literally anything in this formation it does not matter the play um, but you can do it out of any anything that you want uh, so what we're going to do in this example is we're just going to show this out of the play uh, tight in deep out and like I said you can do this out of anything though so the concept is basically this most people when they run their man coverage they're either going to be in cover zero or cover one, right? So I'm in cover one robber. And what you're going to notice is if I put the solo receiver on a flat and I wheel the running back, so just this simple concept right here, you're going to notice that at the snap of the ball, I can the cornerback will back off of the receiver and I can throw a quick free form outside pass lead and get about seven yards. Now, again, this is a quick pass. Um, so you're looking to throw the ball right off the ball, right off the snap. If he backs off, I throw the flat. It's really that simple. Um, if he doesn't back off, that means that they are shading underneath, which we'll show you what that looks like. So you see how he goes right with him there. Now, if they shade underneath, what we can also what we can also do with free form is we can throw this wheel route to the outside. Now I'm going to sub in a better uh, cover player, but you see how I can throw that in out, outside. The reason I can make that pass lead is I can basically freeform my wheel route open against man. Um, and the other thing that I want you to know is that I can also um, kind of, again, manipulate this as needed. And, and you can do this out of any play. And what you do on the right side is up to you. It does not matter. Um, really, honestly, it really doesn't make any difference what you do to the right side. So tight end whip would be a great play to do this out of um, because you have the whip route. You have a nice little post coming over the middle of the field late in the play. Um, you could do this out of double ends uh, as well. Okay. Uh, but anyway, let me come back out and tight end deep out and show you this again. So now that we have a little better cover player on the running back, you'll notice still have outside leverage, can still free form that left side because it's going to give me that nice animation. So what their natural adjustments, again, we want to think about what's the natural thing they're going to do is they're going to shade to the outside to try to stop this. And so you see now actually plays it fairly decent. However, if you, if you see an outside shade on this, um, outside shade and they're shading underneath, what you can do is you can actually freeform this inside and you can user catch it just like you were doing that uh, last year. So again, I'll show you shade outside, shade underneath. And what you'll see here is we're just going to freeform inside and my running back's not going to cooperate. I need to throw that a little quicker. Um, you want to kind of throw the wheel right off the, right off the cut. Now we're going to show you some stuff um, in the middle of the field here in just a second. But anyway, you're going to go boom right there. And you see how I can click on and catch the ball. Okay. So what you could do on the right side, you have a couple different variations of plays. Um, if you think it might be zone on the right side, I feel like this is a really good route combo. Um, you're going to curl the tight end, hitch the uh, slot, and then you're going to whip the outside receiver. If you think it's zone coverage, this is a pretty good concept. Um, again, if they don't shade underneath, please throw that route and please take your yardage. Okay. Um, another thing that I like to do on the right side is something like this, 
where we basically have these double in routes and then we have this flat. Um, this is also really good because you'll see here the natural progression. Um, their user is now going to be in conflict because their user, if they shade underneath and they're shading outside, you want to slant this backside guy like this. What you'll notice is my slant should be wide open. Whoops, I don't know why I'm pump faking. But my slant right there was wide open to the middle. Okay? So, you know, even if they're able to stop your quick game, you can throw this quick hitting uh, slant over the middle of the field because they've got to go over here and take see how their user has to guard that tight end too. So you have two quick hitters to the inside that is going to be able to really counter any kind of shading underneath, right? So you go boom. Oh, that stopped. So now I'm going to go my slant. You see that's going to come open in that pocket. So what this is going to cause your opponent to do is it's going to cause them to run some zone. Man, didn't work, so let's try some zone, right? What you'll see with zone, again, I'm going to press this up. If I see that corner back off, see how I can throw free form outside? And I, the zones this year really struggle to get out outside on the flats. So you can kind of abuse this flat uh, to a degree. So now they're going to shade underneath, maybe shade outside underneath, try to stop this. And you see on the rip, oh, they're with him. So now I can throw the wheel. Now, you, again, you notice the corner's taking this false step um, in a pressed zone alignment. That's why a lot of people don't run zone, um, honestly. But let me show you something else. So we see zone, free form outside. You see that if it's a hard flat, they're going to play this. However, if we see zone, that's where we can, again, um, especially if we see that hard flat in cover three, that's where we can come back over here on this other side. And what you should see here is your slant. And honestly, you got to remember their user is going to be in the middle of the field. So the chances, like, you should have a pretty good opportunity to hit this wheel right in that little pocket. You want to you wanna click on an aggressive catch that so that that doesn't happen. Um, you know, but this is this is a really simple read for you. Um, you know, if they're hard flatting outside, then your wheel, if you wait on this wheel right in that little alley, eh, my free form is not too good. But basically you're trying to throw that where your running back is cutting into the into the middle of the field. Okay? So we'll show it to you one more time. Uh, cover three hard flat. Boom. Just like that. You see how I cut that off? And he's not able to make a play. Now, again, you have to understand, where's their user at in all this? In this defense, most of the time their user is going to be over here. Okay? So their user, if you think about it, is going to probably be dropping to this wheel route, essentially. Um, very likely. Okay? So if that's the case, and you know it's zone, that's where something like this becomes really, really effective these little curls in the middle of the field and again they have to shade underneath so if you know even if you did something like this you know this is fine um but we want to for this is going to force them into shaded underneath man so even if you took the tight end and streaked him up the middle if you watch this um that shade see how they have to have safety help to stop that so it's hard for them to stop everything we can do from this, you know. And obviously, again, this is U trips, right? So you gotta realize they gotta respect all kinds of stuff um, out of this formation. If they're gonna shade underneath, they're gonna have to have safety help over the top. And if they don't, let me show you this tight end route real quick. Um, you know, if we were to do a setup like this, which is very similar. We're working this two-man game on the left, but you see how my tight end is going to get a step over the top, and that high ball is very consistent. You just want a high ball up and to the middle, and it's going to be open for you. So this really gives you a lot of versatility offensively. Um, you know, obviously, if they send a send a cover zero blitz, the one last thing I wanted to show you. Let's say they use the running back. Maybe they drop a hard flat for the tight end, and they're going to send a send a spinner send spinner at you and you want to run a route combo that looks like this. What you'll see here on the left side, again, cover one or cover zero, I can throw that right off the snap. 
So now they have to shade it underneath, and if they shade it underneath, they better have safety help over the top, because even if we just ran something like this, honestly, um, this, if they shade underneath, um, that fade on the outside should kill them over the top for a touchdown. So you see how versatile this offense is, and when you can start using these snap throw flats to kind of force them to have to protect, um, it just opens everything else up. And you see how just simple, quick, seven yards, now they have to shade underneath. And they have to shade underneath on both sides. Shading outside is, simply put, not enough. Um, you'll see here, just boom, quick throw, five yards, easy. And then that forces them to shade underneath, and then that's going to open up your vertical passing game in this formation um, because oftentimes if someone's going to shade underneath, then that means that these posts and these fades and these outs, they're all really good reads as Mahomes can't get him the ball. But these quick this, this tight end becomes a, an absolute weapon because then you can run something like this. This is not a bad play call whatsoever, especially if they want to shade underneath. If they're going to shade underneath, you call something like this, and you should see here the opportunity to high ball over the top of the coverage or to hit the fade, you know, on, on that side. Um, this becomes a very powerful uh, offense as soon as they <coughs> start having to shade underneath. See, they get lost in the sauce, and then you're able to hit this corner. So tight end apprentice, really key to you trips, I think, but also just the ability to hit these quick reads, quick game. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. And if you want to get my entire U trips offense, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up, and we got a brand new ebook we dropped yesterday. Our new defensive ebook that I really enjoy, three three cup. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description. As a member, you get access to all ebooks and all updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.